This week's word of the week is going to be metallurgy. Metallurgy, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you're a welder and you don't know what uh, metallurgy is, 10 being a big deal, 1 being not that big of a deal, it's right in the middle, it's about a 5. Uh, you probably should know the definition of metallurgy, which I got on the back here. Um, we're going to go over that here in a second. Uh, you kind of understand what metallurgy is, but if you don't know, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I wrote down a bunch of topics that are kind of covered within the, the metallurgy here. Uh, so what we're going to do first is look at the definition and we'll come back to these topics. The definition of metallurgy, I wrote it down, the science and study of the behaviors and properties of metals and their extraction from their ores. So we're going to start right here with ores. Uh, it's in the definition of metallurgy and it's also the first thing you get, the first part of the process of making metals, right? So. Ores. What's an ore? Ore is, is basically a rock that gets pulled from the earth that contains whatever metal you're trying to, you know, make into a usable shape. So ores, big thing to remember about that is you're pulling stuff out from the ground, you're refining it in some kind of process to make usable materials, right? So that's the first thing that, our first topic that we're looking at here is, is the ores that make metals. Microstructures is probably one of the most common things that I think of when I think of metallurgy. You're looking at crystal microstructures of, of metals. So you're going to cut it, polish it, and then you're looking under a microscope to see what kind of microstructures are there. Uh, there's, there's a bunch of different microstructures for like carbon steels would be like martensite, austenite, ferrite, perlite. You can look all those up. Heat treatments. Metallurgy deals a lot with heat treatments. What happens Atomically, when you're heating up uh, metals and you know then cooling them, maybe cooling carbon steel too quick, it, it gets hard, right? Uh, if you want to bring hardened steels back, you're going to do annealing, tempering, normalizing, things like that. So, so metallurgy covers a lot of uh, heat treatments, what's going on atomically in the metals. Phase diagrams is another big uh, topic that's in metallurgy. So when you're going from solid to a liquid phase as a, as a metal, these diagrams kind of show you the different microstructures as they change when you're when you're heating up uh, steel to the point of like liquid, right? So you have these phase diagrams. And again, you can look up Google search um, phase diagrams and you'll see what we're kind of talking about. That's a big topic on metallurgy. Uh, we're going over here to non-ferrous versus ferrous. Common misconception is that ferrous materials are magnetic and non-ferrous materials are non-magnetic. That's not exactly true. The real truth behind ferrous versus not ferrous is that these are iron related alloys, okay? So is it true that a lot of the times ferrous materials are magnetic and not ferrous aren't? A lot of the time that is true, but that's not all the time. So you can't go off of magnetism. A big thing to know about metallurgy, if you're talking about a main topic to understand, this is it right here, non ferrous versus ferrous materials. Ferrous has iron, non ferrous does not have iron. Uh, corrosion is another uh, big topic in metallurgy. Uh, why does stuff break down? Why do things not break down? Why does steel rust? Why does aluminum and stainless not rust, right? So that's another topic that metallurgy covers. Mechanical and thermal properties. Mechanical would be uh, tensile strength, um, ability to resist torsion, um, anything that's physically done to the metal that it either resists or doesn't resist. Ductility would be uh, the ability to bend, right? That's a mechanical property of metals. And metallurgy, um, that's a main topic of metallurgy. Then you have your thermal. Thermal and mechanical kind of go hand in hand. Thermal is more of why does heat travel through aluminum so fast? Metallurgy is, is, is the study of that type of uh, topic. And then last but not least, metals. It's, it's the study of metals is what it is. And it's the scientific study of metals in layman terms. So you're looking at metals and you're thinking of, you know, the common ones that welding uses would be, you know, your steels, your stainless, your uh, aluminum, but there's also a ton of other metals. You get the periodic table of elements out and look at how many metals there are. Uh, metallurgy studies all of them, it, whether it be precious metals, you have gold, silver, platinum group metals, things like that. You also have titanium. I mean, there's, there's just a ton of metals and metallurgy covers them all. So uh, hopefully that, uh, gives you a good idea of what metallurgy is, the topics that are included when you're studying metallurgy, and you can look any of this stuff up and you'll see some further information on Google. But that's all we got for today. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll see you next time.